What's in the box? What's in the box? Welcome in to Let's Talk Shop. My name is Steve. Today we're going to do an unboxing video. This is still a car show and I'm going to tell you why we're doing an unboxing video as we go here. So let's get started. This is a Pioneer PL X500K. First, let me comment that I love that it's got a strong, sturdy shipping box and a secondary box that has the turntable in it. I'm rebuilding my stereo system and one of my coworkers, Peter, he is a DJ. You know, a side job is it, that he's a DJ. So he's the right person to ask, you know, what, what turntable should I get? So Peter's like, oh yeah, get this one or that one, and then we ended up landing on this one. And then after I told him it had arrived, he's all, did you make an unboxing video? And I'm like, no, I don't do unboxing videos. Then, a few days later, uh, you know, Peter and I are both in healthcare. So we've got a patient on the table who turns out to be a DJ. And Peter tells him, hey man, Steve here just bought a brand new PLX 500 turntable. And the patient goes, dude, did you do an unboxing video? I'm like, okay, <laughs> maybe I'm supposed to do an unboxing video. <laughs> so here we are, and that's why we're doing an unboxing video on a YouTube channel that is a car show. But we're going to do it anyway. So here we go. So it's all wrapped nicely. Plenty of styrofoam going on. There's our shield or our lid cover, whatever you call it. I love that smoke look. Pioneer instructions. Before you start, what's in the box? Page six. It's pretty basic stuff here. So you've got your console, platter, slip mat, and we'll put on the uh, stylus holder. Styrofoam's going out of sight here. So underneath this tape, there's a couple pockets with stuff. And I'm going to get to that in just a minute. The tips are gold. I like that. That's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna get into our two white boxes here. Did you just say white? Cables. More cable. I was kind of expecting to find a head shell in there. This is the power cable. Let's get into here. There's the head shell. There's the 45 gizmo. And a counterweight for the tone arm. beautiful a second ago, now it's even more beautiful. There's our slip mat. Next is to install the head shell. It 
it should be noted that the the turntable comes with a stylus already installed. Okay, I'm going to put the cover back on while I'm working here. And then tighten the lock nut. Okay, here we go. Now I do have a different stylus that I'm going to put in here later. I'm going to fire this up with the stylus that comes with the PLX500 and then put an Orophone Blue in later on. We've got a balance weight right here. And that is going to go so that you can see the numbers facing you. Okay, it's on. Next is attach the dust cover. Now naturally we're going to balance all this stuff later, but for now, let's attach the dust cover. So you just drop these hinges into these sockets. Well, there's that. That's what's in the box, and now we'll do a little setup. One of my favorites from the 80s. So, um, yeah, now I can bring the tone arm in and not worry about landing on the felt while I adjust the balance here. So, the instructions say adjust so it is horizontal. So, I need a little bit more weight on the back. I'm going to go counterclockwise. Couple of hashes here. So some of y'all that have done this before might be cringing at what I'm doing. I've never set up a turntable. So, there's that. I'm going to say that's close enough balanced for me, so it's not teetering in either direction. Okay. Next, adjusting the stylus pressure. The value for the included cartridge is from 3 to 4 grams. Prepare as follows. Return the tone arm to the armrest and secure with the arm clamp. Match the zero on the stylus pressure adjustment ring to the center line of the arm rear shaft. To go to zero is going to give me one, two, three grams. There's your zero. That actually gives it three grams, and it says to be to be between three and four. So that should be a winner right there. We had a, a rack installed by Vitso, company down in Los Angeles. I think the things are made in the Netherlands, probably? No, UK. UK. So, uh, yeah, that's where the turntable goes. Putting the cover back on the stylus, locking the arm, closing the lid. Let's go put it where it belongs. Still got an LP record setting there. Just going to keep everything level. Now, let me tell you, this thing is heavy and sturdy. There's not a lot of plastic going on here. It's solid. All right, let's plug this into the receiver. As far as setup goes, I'm gonna watch this guy's video. We get all the little fine tuning things done like the anti-skate and the correct grams. There's a little light here too, so that can illuminate whatever you're about to put on the platter there. On. Start. 33. And let's see how this lands here. 